So, it's with great pleasure I am delighted to introduce to you now the one and the only Heidi Sawyer. Big round of applause. Heidi Sawyer. already. <laughs> Typical sensitive. I can also feel most certainly that this, just as I walked in the room, I went, whoa, this is going to be a very, very strong weekend, obviously with the content, but also what makes it are the people in the room. So before I even started, and you've got me all emotional, I can't imagine what it's going to be like by tomorrow afternoon. So just bear with me a second. What do I, how do I do this business? <laughs> so <clears throat> thank you very much all for being here. Um, it's a delight to give these events because it's a delight to watch the, uh, the change and the adjustments that you go through. That's why I get all emotional, so lots of you know that, because I do this to help you, to help you gain a further understanding of yourself, um, who you are as a sensitive person in this world, and to move on from being embarrassed about who you are, and to, re to really engage with the strengths of the sensitive. Now, this weekend is about you stepping into what is the new reality, okay? And some of you will be very familiar with it, and others of you will be absolutely terrified by it. But the fact is, is that you can't hide anymore. I've tried it. <laughs> you have to now start to move into the key skills of who you are. And I'm not talking about the Madam, Madam Fufu, as, uh, as Brendan mentioned, which is, you know, you've got to sit there and tell people what colour knickers they're wearing. I'm talking about accessing the true nature of who you are. Now, every single one of you will have a strong impact in your life on the people around you. Even if you think you don't, you do. You are the people who have chosen to engage with your life to make it different. So I know as a fact that many, many sensitives come from difficult foundations, difficult early beginnings. But instead of following that family history or that family route, you've chosen to be different. You've chosen to engage the, heal, the healed route, the healing route. And that, again, is what makes me emotional, uh, is that's what makes, that is what makes you special. Okay, because you are those people who want to properly engage with things enough to make the changes in society that everybody, everybody is looking for to move on from, from being unkind to kindness. People have trained themselves, for instance, over generations to be unkind through insecurity. What you do as a sensitive is you engage with life enough to want it to be different, to want to engage the side of you that it can express it's natural kindness. Does that make sense? So what this weekend is about is it's about you stepping into the new leadership. Okay, And this isn't, doesn't mean that you've got to go out into the world and go rah, rah, rah. Um, it's the new self-leadership. Okay, Now, you may think that this is all a, a great grand theory. It's not. It's coming in. It's already in. And you are the types of people that big corporations, for instance, are now starting to look for. So where you've spent the years of your life, 
feeling ignored or too sensitive? Who's been told they're too sensitive? <laughs> All of you. <coughs> Has come to, is coming to an end. Now, what we've seen over the last three or four years, no, probably about the last four years, is the transition point. Okay. Now, it's frightened, the transition has frightened a lot of people, and it's also frightened a lot of sensitives. Who's felt very frightened over the last four years, more so than they ever have before? Who's felt empowered by the last four years? <laughs> Good. <laughs> Get in it. So, we're going through the transition phase, and the transition phase is almost finished, so you're going to have to come out of your hiding place. Okay, so particularly this morning's session it is about you understanding that. I've also got a few things for you to do um, in order for you to reach a new level of understanding in terms of how you work. Now to reach the full levels of how you would see it as far as the enlightened self is concerned, you've got to pass through the walls Okay? And many of those walls have been constructed not by anything other than your own history, our own social environment, our heritage, and I absolutely see time and time again, time and time again with the people that I personally deal with, that they are strongly affected by their family history. And these are relatives that you don't even know. But it's deep in there. It's deep in there in some kind of aspect of your, your mind, your, your DNA, it's in there. So this weekend is about you getting down to the core of who you are and moving out that history. Okay, does that make sense? Now, in moving out that history, I am going to make you cry this weekend. You're going to not like me at times. Um, but what will happen for you is that you will absolutely start to make the breakthroughs that you're looking for, whether that is internally or whether that's in your understanding. Does that make sense? So, to begin with, what we're going to have a look at is your role in the new society, how you fit in, okay? So, it's harnessing the energy of this year and into the next, I would say, the influence, this strong influence is going to be for about the next five to six years, okay? Beyond five to six years, it will start to, to even out and settle in. But about, yeah, I'd say it's got another five or six years to go. So generally, as a sensitive, you know what this means. You've never really fitted in. Whether that's a case of never feeling that you fitted in as far as your school life was concerned, your family life was concerned, uh, your working life is concerned, and many of you still feel that you don't really know where you fit in. Okay, does that make sense? You're sitting, for instance, in an environment that's shaped for the sensitive. You're sitting in a curve, and you have chairs that are spaced far enough away for you to be comfortable. You have windows either side. Okay, you can't see out of them right now but you feel safe because you've got windows there. You also know that there's two doors at the back. You also know that you can feel pretty safe in this room because it feels separated from the rest of the hotel environment. Am I right? <laughs> you started off feeling, mm, oh, I'm feeling nervous. I'm nervous, excited, nervous, excited. I'm not quite sure what I feel. And am I going to be able to cope in an environment with lots of people? Guilty? Yeah. 
So you've wondered where, where you fit in. Well, this is the environment that you fit into. Okay. You've also absolutely felt burdened by the emotions of others. Now, there is a physical reason for this. And in the session after the break, I will tell you the reason. And it's nothing to do with your imagination. It's everything to do with your biology. Okay, you are wired differently to the average person. And there is scientific evidence to suggest that you are. That the sensitive is going to shortly become a recognized term. Okay? Whee! <laughs> you also will have been, at some stage or another in your life, embarrassed by your vulnerability. Okay? So, I'm not embarrassed by mine anymore. I can say, you know, hands up, yes, have been in the past, not anymore. I'll sit here and cry all day if necessary. It's how we are. That's, that's how we're wired. But we've spent a lifetime trying to hide or avoid that essence of our vulnerability. We see it as a weakness. Okay, does that make sense? In order to properly access the intuitive self, you have to be accepting of your vulnerability. The longer you spend in rejection of it, the longer it takes you to get to a feeling of the whole self. Okay, does that make sense? You've also found it very hard to stay around untruths. You can't help but open your mouth. <laughs> even when others don't really want it. <laughs> and you do it for their own protection. And you can see them heading for a big hole, and you're saying, yeah, but, 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 you're going down that hole, but, 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 you're going down that hole, but, but, yes, you're going down that hole. And they turn around and slap you on. And then you trunch off in the opposite direction, feeling extremely wounded, refusing to go into your vulnerability. I will explain all that later. Okay? So, as, sen as a sensitive, you found it very difficult to be around untruths. And you're finding it more and more difficult. If you're in a, in a, a working environment, just using that as an example, where there is a lot of untruths, there is a lot of um, the river in Egypt, the Nile, you will find it increasingly difficult to stay there. You may have been able to put up with it for a while, deal with it for a while, bring up a few things here and there, no one seems to be listening, but in essence you're now finding it impossible to stay within that environment. Does that make sense? You've also been far too nice. Okay? Very quick to pacify situations. Why? And avoid confrontation. Why? Because it hurts. Okay? And it's not to do with, oh dear, I feel a bit hurt. It physically hurts. You know, as well as I know, it hurts in the solar plexus. It feels like something has ripped into you sometimes. Especially if you're around uh, very intense situations, okay? Does that make sense? This is about you accepting that aspect of your vulnerability rather than rejecting it. You've also wanted something different when others want to keep the things the same, okay? So you are wired to move on to move things forward for growth, okay? Others around you who are non-sensitives will be desperate to keep things the same. And they'll be desperate to keep things the same because that's what they understand as safety, okay? For a sensitive, that is the most uncomfortable place you can place them. So, 
it'll fit perfectly with the new society. Society doesn't realise it yet, but it is changing, okay? And it doesn't like it. It's not keen on the idea. So it will do everything and anything to fight it at the moment. Okay, does that make sense? The atmosphere just soaking that in. It just lifts your energy. It just lifts you and makes you feel that everything's okay um, and that everything will be okay, really. And that, the, that she's out there, that she's not going away. She's going to be there for a while, so you can always go back to her. And there are also free resources. You know, you don't have to buy books and courses. You can actually just go on YouTube or Google her, and you can find lots of free resources as well. But I think this buyer being at a live event is a really amazing experience. That's an experience that you can't sort of intellectualise or it's not quite the same looking at, you know, a YouTube video. The experience of being in the room with like minded people, experiencing her energy and I was thinking, tomorrow I want to sit at the front so I can be more closer to her aura. <laughs> but I'll sit at the front tomorrow, so definitely, yeah. I came to Inspire for the first time last year and got tremendous value up from it because it helped me understand a lot of things about myself that I'd, I'd never understood, no one else could explain to me and I felt a bit weird about asking people because they just think I'm a bit of a freak, why are you asking that? However, as an environment where I could ask those questions, Heidi had the answers and Heidi's got a great way of explaining things to you in very simple, common language with something that will resonate to you. Um, and she's great at connecting in with what you're feeling, how you're going, and she has the empathy um, to clarify situations for you. There are a lot more men um, here this year than there was last year, because this is the second one Inspire I've been to. Um, so, yeah, I think um, because that's one area when I came first, I was a bit. Mm, not sure if this is a uh, something for me or is it some latest thing or something but yeah i think it's it's touching it it's getting out there to to more men what fascinates me is when she does the meditations and people tell her what they've experienced how she actually analyzes it and gives them that energy reading i just find that fascinating i've never come across anybody that can do that Today I've learned that our stress, our stress levels can affect how or how we think, but that brings on stress and then other stresses from the environment. How you think can actually may cause adverse reactions in your body, it might even give you autoimmune disease and weight gain, stuff like that. I wouldn't say I, I don't have any autoimmune thing, I don't have diabetes, I don't have any of those issues, but I, I don't know, I have this weight here which I can't get rid of no matter how much I exercise, but I think Heidi did talk about that, uh, yeah, since you have this thing. Come here today with, with, with key things. It's basically there's, there's, there's things that are actually happening in our life at the moment, um, and uh, I want to get answers to those, and um, I want to be able to actually uh, find more exciting ways of actually um, inspiring myself. And actually, being there. I just came across Heidi. Um, a friend of mine actually introduced me to her, I think, last year. Um, I went to a talk at Sunday, just at the hall there, and I was so fascinated. I read her book, and I read the book, and absorbed everything, and I just thought, it's amazing. She is actually explaining to me why I am the way I am. So, um, yeah, it was really good. I'm really glad I found her. Um, I've looked at loads and loads of her material that she's got on the web, you know, I've gone through like hours and hours of her talking and I just find it fascinating. Last year I did a course, a one day workshop, which was really, really good. I went away feeling so lifted and just feeling really, really good and just 
expanded, you know, just sort of expanded and developed. And I just thought, yeah, I want more of this. So when Inspire came up, I thought I'm going to definitely come to this. So I booked it in my diary straight away. Um, and I was looking forward to it. And since I've come here today, it's just it's just lovely. It just feels like you just fit, you know, the people around you. She's so down to earth, everything she tells you, the knowledge she gives you. It's it's just I don't know where you could find it anywhere else. I've never found anything like this anywhere else. And she's just so down to earth and there's no pretenses, there's no, you know, sort of divan divanness about her and you know, she just she's lovely, she's really lovely and she's very ethical and I think for me that's really, really important that people should be ethical. Yeah, I'm Dan. Um, I've been, uh, this is my second year of um, Inspire. Um, I've done a, um, a retreat uh, down over at Heidi's, uh, one of the Deep Soul events. Uh, completely transformed my life. Sorry, emotional. Yeah, completely transformed my life. Um, uh, I've been open to spiritual stuff for many, many years, and Heidi makes it fit. It makes it make sense. The new thing that she has here with the tree of life stuff. I think I am now ready for that new level to go on to become more involved with who I am and how to express it to other to others around me and how to take what they have and stuff like that. So the, this part was very good with it. The tree of life, this new thing she, she has put together because it's not something new, new, new that Heidi. She has always done the tree of life and little bits of it, but this is a comprehensive thing which she has put together now in her, her um, course, a course manual. And I think that will really help me to progress to the next level where I want to go because I feel completely different in 2013.